Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel where we are going to try out a bunch of new makeup products. We have things like the new Anastasia eyeshadow palette called Fall Romance, looking so pretty. The Holy Shirt from Kimchi Cheek. Every single one of the milk makeup sticks and I have for sure not used it all of them. <laughs> I only think that I've used one of the highlighters and I've never used any of the contours. And then we also have their new Odyssey lip glosses that we're going to try out, of course. Some news from KVD and some more, I don't know. Let's just get into it. First of all, we are going to try out the KVD Pore Refining Primer. And I was so happy when I got this because I have not seen a lot of new things from KVD after they rebranded. This might be something that they've always had, but I have not tried it, I don't think. Although I usually don't like pore refining primers. I usually go for like hydrating primer <laughs> that just feels like a second layer of skincare. It does have that like silicone-y feel, which I also am not a huge fan of. I do not have any new foundation or concealer, so I'm just gonna go in with the KVD um, Good Apple Serum Foundation and the Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer, which is two of my favorites. And there we go. I still have the concealer on because I like to let it just sit a little bit and uh, cook or dry uh, while doing the rest of my face. We are obviously going to try out the new contour sticks from Milk Makeup. We have Sizzle, Simmer, Stoked and Toasted. And I am very, very pale right now. So I think Toasted, the lightest one, would be what I would use. Then we have a new shade of the bronzers called Daze or dust. So this is actually a lighter than baked, which is the one that I normally go for. So this is the lightest one. So I'm going to try out that one as well. And then we're going to pick out a lip and cheek tint for the blush. Why do I have two smirk? Smirk and smirk. But they look different. Enigma and Muse. And I feel like turnt would look cute. Let's go ahead and see how the contour is looking. So this is the lightest shade called Toasted. Let's swatch it a little bit. It is looking like a perfect shade, to be honest. Okay, so this is the new old Dazed, new matte bronzer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch the highlighter. Oh, okay. It's a very, like a champagne-y, very glittery highlighter. Can you guys see that? But we're gonna go in with the contour at first and I'm just taking some on my brush right away. And I'm just gonna use that where I would normally contour. I really like it. And then I'm just gonna contour a little bit here. And then I'm going in with Daze, the new matte bronzer. Also here on the uh, on the brush and also on top of here. By the way, it was so fun to read through the comments on my latest video when I cut my bangs again and when I dyed my hair this color. You guys are really 50-50 on the bangs. <laughs> some of you love it just like me and some of you really do not like it. And it's just one of those very like strong opinions <laughs> that I kind of have a hard time understanding why people care so much, but also it's really nice that you care. Even though you don't like it, I appreciate you caring. <laughs> but I feel like after a few days, like now, it is looking a little bit better because it's just lived in. Before we go in with blush, I am blending out my concealer. Time for blush and I apparently got two smirk. So I'm just gonna double check that it is smirk in here. <laughs> okay, both are smirk. I don't know if you can tell, but it has like gold glitter in it. Yes, please. Okay, it's like very not pigmented, but very pretty. Then we have Enigma, which looks like a darker shade. Ooh, I love that. 
And then lastly, we have Meuse, which looks like a super dark shade. Oh, kind of like berry almost. I'm going in with the shade Enigma because I felt like that was the one that spoke to me the most. Oh, it is so pretty. This will for sure be one of my new favorites. Now, before we go in with highlighter, I am going in with powder. And I actually have two new powders from Kimchi Chic. This is the Puff Puff Pass Set and Bake Powder that I have used. So I've actually tried it now for a couple of days, I would say, and I really like it. But we also have the Almost Catfished uh, white powder in that white powder, I guess. Pressed setting powder, and this is a baking powder. <gasps> is this a heart? That is so pretty. And this said the white powder, so maybe I should go in with the baking powder at first, and then the white powder. So I'm just gonna put a little bit there. Take my little powder puff. Then I'm just gonna remove the excess a little bit. Make sure there's no creasing or anything. And then put it on. I gotta say, I can already tell that the primer and this uh, foundation that I used, which is a matte foundation, I love that foundation. But now with the matte pore fining primer, I kind of feel like I'm looking a little bit dry, just so you guys know. I'm just gonna go ahead and powder a little bit here. And my chin. Okay, you know what, now I'm like powdering all over. <laughs> and now for this one. I'm not really sure how to use this, so I'm just gonna go in with a small little blending brush. And maybe use it here. Yeah, I feel like that lighten it quite a lot, right? Hmm. I like that. So this is the highlighter in Turnt. I'm just gonna go ahead and take some on my finger, warm it up here, and then I'm just gonna press it in here. I hope that you guys can see that. I don't know if you can really tell that it's glitter, but I can and I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> so on the other side, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury. As I said, I've already tried this a little bit and this is just, I don't know if you can tell already, but it's just like a wet highlighter. It just looks wet, <laughs> which I love. I really, really like this one actually. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Milk one. And I'm going in with this on my Cupid's bow as well and also on my nose. So the base is all done. I'm just gonna finish it off with some setting spray and then I'm going in with my brows. For that I have the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Straw Burn or if I go in with my old favorite the Auburn shade from KVD. Now for the eyeshadow palettes we have the Rock On Colourpop eyeshadow palette. Then we have the Anastasia Fall Romance eyeshadow palette. It also looks super super pretty. I think we have to go in with the Anastasia one. <laughs> And then if we wanted something more colorful, we have the Kimchi Chic Holy Shards. Alien, oh, this is so, so pretty. I'm obsessed with this one. Ember is a brown with some gold glitter. And then we have Mulberry, which is a warmer brown with also gold. We have Thorns, which is a green with glitter in it. Just look at those shades together. Although I don't know if they're gonna really show up like this on the eye. Then we obviously have this one called Divine. Oh, look at that one. I am going to go in with leather, which is a good like transition color. We're just gonna start with that. Let's do it like right above my natural creasing. So like that. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Mulberry, which is a very warm toned brown with some like golden or copper glitter in it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these on the sides and then blend it here and decrease, but not uh, remove all of the other color that we have already put down. I'm gonna try at least. I am the worst at this. I usually just blend it 
so it's this color all over but I'm gonna try and just put it underneath it if that makes sense there we go now I wonder should we go in with like thorns the green whoops in the middle of this to make it like completely matte or should we go in with some of the glitter i think i'm gonna go in with thorns which is a dark green with a little bit of like gold glitter also if this doesn't look good i could go in with some of the glitter on top but hopefully this is gonna look really cool yeah i really like it actually i also think that i'm gonna go in with the green shade underneath my eyes just slightly even though this eyeshadow palette could probably do a whole lot more than what i just did but it's just what i'm feeling to do right now these are the kvd tattoo pencil liners in jedelite blue and we have gromite black why not just go in with some of the black okay it's like a little bit of a shimmery silvery black that looks way better right now for mascara this is the new kvd full sleeve long defined tubing mascara that has a really interesting one okay right away i don't love how clumpy it is when i just go in with mascara and have nothing else on i don't like the look of this it works now with the smoky eye now for lips we have a bunch of different options i got these from kimchi cheek and then obviously we have the lip glosses and i feel like we kind of have to go in with these lip glosses because I mean, Milk is one of my favorite brands and I feel like they can do no wrong. Okay, I'm gonna take out Voyage and Guest. Ooh, okay, this is the shade uh, Quest. And then we have Voyage, which looks like a purple, oh. So for the lip line, I'm gonna go in with the Lime Crime in Bittersweet. And yes, I am still going to overline my lips. It's either this, I know some of you guys hate it, but it's either this, <laughs> having weird outlined lips that makes me feel comfortable, or I will go and like do fillers again. <laughs> and I really don't want to do that. Now, let's see if this actually is looking good with this color combo. Mm, they feel very nice on the lips. What were these called? lip oil gloss yeah that's right i was just about to say that they feel like gloss or no <laughs> oil really comfortable and not like sticky or anything like that so there we have the finished look and here you guys can see it hopefully with the hair give me one minute and i would just do a quick quick review okay milk sticks love these both of the powders from kimchi chic so so nice i absolutely loved both of them and will for sure have them now here in my everyday drawer charlotte tilbury highlighter would really recommend oh that's right maybe i wouldn't recommend the milk highlighter it's just not my cup of tea kvd mascara i like it but i would much rather recommend anastasia one the eyeshadow palette from anastasia beverly hills i absolutely loved if you like these sorts of colors i would really recommend it also you guys know that anastasia has the best eyeshadow palettes in my opinion and lastly the lip oil glosses odyssey lip oil glosses from milk i have obviously just used one but i really love the feel of them they just feel like an oil not sticky or anything and super super hydrating and i just really like the colors as well all right so that is it for me i really hope you guys have enjoyed it was quite a quick video i think at least for me it was if you guys have not already be sure to subscribe to my channel here also if you want to see more vlogs i have my vlogging channel so go ahead and check that out like this video and hopefully we will see each other in the next video bye guys